Hi there, this is Jill from WebGirl Enterprises and in this video I'm going to be taking you on a statistical tour through one of my new client websites. This is also how to get, a web, how to get website stats on a site without Google Analytics. The site we're going to be reviewing is charleswoodkarate.com. So let's first talk about where Charles Wood Karate was. This is their original site, which was uh, served the purpose really well. This is a Shotokan Karate Club in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and they have a membership of over 100 people, and they use this, they have a blog, and information about the club itself, and the instructor was using this as a way to let people know what was coming up, and schedule changes, and new sessions, and things like that. So the site did really well for them in terms of getting the information out, but it was first of all half PHP and half WordPress blog. So it was really difficult to maintain the site to update the pages, especially the PHP pages, and so therefore what we did was upgrade it. WebGirl Enterprises upgraded it to all be handled with the WordPress engine. Now, along with the upgrade, we installed Google Analytics because initially the website didn't have any kind of web stats installed. So most of this video now we're gonna go over and take a look at the analytics and just do the initial, initial tour. The launch of the website was about two weeks ago. So the stats that we have here, uh, especially the ones you're looking at here, aren't going to be historical historically relevant they didn't have Google Analytics on the website initially so this is a brand new installation so you can see that there has been some activity some spiky visits up to 54 in one day and up and down and things like that as we've been doing things but from this we can't tell what the average was in the past before I took over before WebRail started working with it so um, one thing that I can do though is look into the past and look into what the Google Webmaster Tools offers us for information. And that is under traffic sources and under search engine optimization. Once you've set up your analytics account and configured it with Webmaster Tools, you can go into here and you can see things like the, um, the number of queries, number of times that people searched that you ended up on the search results, including the number of times that they click through on those results. So in general this kind of gives you some kind of information about how much you're showing up in the search engines when, and what kind of keywords people are using that they're finding your site in. So this in particular is interesting because you can see right away that it goes back a lot further than that initial one that only had uh, started about here. So what I'm going to do actually is go back as far as I can in this and this seems to have a history right back to September 28th, so I'm going to go back to the 21st. From the 21st to um, right now. Okay. And here you can see the general average since September 28th, October 2nd, 2011. Um, since then, the average of how many searches have aimed people toward the Charles Wood Karate website. You can see recently that there's been a big spike and then this big drop. Uh, it looks like there isn't, since there's no data available for the two recent calendar days. And since it's uh, January 4th right now, that's what's going on there. But this could be a result of what the work that we've been doing, or it could be some kind of uh, spike that happened just coincidentally. Only time will tell. So some of the keywords that they're landing with, Karate, Charles Wood Karate, IKD, which is the association that Charles Wood is with, again, the Charles Wood asso the association that they're with. These are great things. They're all things that are exactly associated with what we want people to be hitting the site with. Now, uh, this geographical summary, I'm not sure if it tells you the detail of the other one I can look at. But you can see again that there was this a little spike in October 11th. But other than that, you know, under 200 
most of the time and now he will uh, spike for up to 400. So it will be interesting to see in the future because this is approximately where I started working with it. It was around the 19th was when the site switched over and um, statistics were added, analytics were added on the 24th. So you can see this is the growth that's happened just in that little bit of time. So it will be interesting to see in future reports how things progress with that. So again, I'm just going to go back to this audience thing here. We don't really have very much information on the analytics side because it started on December 23rd. So it's looking all the way back to September. I'm going to switch this back to being just this last week. Okay. Maybe I should do the last month. Okay, we did the last month. There we go. We're back to where we were. So now you can see um, some city information, and that's interesting too, because it shows us that we have 97 visitors from Winnipeg, which is where the club actually is. So that's good. You're getting a lot of traffic that is relevant to attracting more people to the club or informing people in the club about what's going on, people that are actually going there. And then you have the other people who are related to the club or interested in things like that. And that's interesting too. So we can go through some of the um, various statistics at a later time, but I really want to wait and gather some more stats before I do my next tour. So this is Jill Lampy from Web Girl Enterprises. I'm a social media consultant and uh, internet marketing consultant and technical consultant. Um, And my website is webgirlenterprises.com. You can find me on Facebook and on Twitter at the Web Girl. That's with two R's. I'd love to hear from you. Take care.